What's up, guys? Yes, it's drizzling out here, but it's the only time I have to, have to do this. Anyways, what you're looking at right here is the back side of where on the other side of this wall is the ONT. This is the uh, this is fiber optics, and this is the fiber optic drop. As you see, it is unburied. It was buried till about right there and not buried up there at the end but it was only buried you can see how deep it was buried that far so i pulled up on this thing until it, it got to where it, i could tell it was buried further than uh half a centimeter down in the ground anyway what i'm doing here is making this right if you don't notice already the the uh we'll call this a j pipe look at it from the side allows the fiber to bend up against the wall and protects it from weed eaters and whatever else this was installed incorrectly obviously even if i bury this deep as i can it's going to come up right here above ground this whole bottom piece of this has to go underground i'm going to pull these out i'm going to have to then uh this will be loose and then i'm going to have to move this thing out there's not a lot of slack in this like really none at all so i'm gonna have to move this around and figure out how to get this thing down at least in the ground maybe two inches or so where this is underground and it has a path and i really need to get it further than that so we're gonna deal with this i'll show the finished product of it and talk about what i did and show anything of pertinence but i'm just showing this right now pre uh work hopefully it doesn't take very long we'll see uh, i got my tools ready and uh here we go Hey guys, what's up? Started this just in time, I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> all right, obviously, like I said, to make slack, this is a little, it, this had to come a little bit sideways. It's not bad though, I'll back it out. And you'll see, comes a little bit sideways, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, and I needed to move that over in order to get slack, because this had to come down this is the previous mounting went down here so that's you know several inches to get this thing uh solidly underground about six inches once, once everything's on top and you see uh i used tapcon uh concrete anchors in there which uh this thing's not going anywhere um also i recommend these if you if you're really 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 careful okay because look you see I have these in just sporadic spots I didn't put any up here because it's sprinkler heads here and it's nice and tight anyways coming out of that but uh, uh, just in this area just to ensure no matter what happens with the topsoil while it's while it's uh, settling we'll say and healing uh, I put a couple of these and I gave them all room I'm so dirty I gave all, all of these room for the, the, the cabling to move. If you see you see up under there, I didn't push any down. Like I didn't push it into the cable and then go into it. If I can get up under that, you'll maybe you can see there's a gap. I'm sure you trust me on that, but because that's a big no-no. You don't want to be uh, crushing fiber optic, right? Uh, so uh, this can all move, and I use uh, several of these. I got a big box of them. Uh, but I just thought that would be wise to keep it down because a lot of this is dirt if, if you saw the way this is back here it, it's It's not exactly the best growing grass. So anyways, it's uh, very much in the ground uh, It at a safe depth You see what I mean? We got this underground. So I'll take one more quick video because we have a light on the uh, camera here obviously uh, showing it all buttoned up with the topsoil and again if you're just interested in what an inside ONT looks like this is not it <laughs> this is what this is how they're uh, they're putting them in now uh, and this is just just uh, cooled up slack fiber if you will uh, and it's out here and then it goes into the house right here installer like he didn't put this underground he didn't even seal this entrance to the house but I know people like to see the stuff and on the other side of the wall inside is the ONT What's up guys, this is the finished product here. And as you see, 
First thing I'll point out, a little mud on my fingers, so I'm gonna show you something in a minute, is the, um, where the fiber comes out of this, actually unsheathed, it still has a little sheath, that black sheath is not the final fiber. It goes into a white piece and then that's terminated. Uh, so it's very protected. It's got many layers of sheath with Kevlar in this stuff. So. But uh, it, the installer did it, and you saw that earlier, I believe, earlier in the video, where there was a big hole there, about the size of my finger. I couldn't quite put this in, but maybe my pinky finger, I guess. And that goes directly inside of the house. So I just got some of that spray foam that uh, is liquid, and then it just expands on its own over 10, 15 minutes at the most. And this is nice, solid, something that can, if I wanted to in the future, I could get out and off without damaging this but anyway it's covering the hole doing the, do, doing the job there I only took a second for that see the actual fiber line itself it's going straight down it has a slight right to left curve uh slant or rather but that's not hurting anything the slack on it is to me perfect it's got that much slack let me pull up here that much slack coming down and so you know a little slack's good you don't want it like mega tight uh, but you don't want like you bring pull it out like way out here or anything. So that's about how far off the wall it is. You can see we're, we're looking at an inch, inch and a half, something like that. And I got this down. The very bottom of my J bend pipe is seven uh, inches exactly. Uh, so I think that's quite safe. Uh, this is obviously down considerably from where it was to be down that far. And you saw that big trench I was bearing. It's about five, six feet that I dug. And it's, it's, it's seven inches um, all the way down. I got a new strip of sod and put right over the, the area where I buried. It goes further than that, but that's all the sod that I had. And popped down there, and it's good. And in this black part, as you'll see clearly where everything has been buried, it looks darker than it did before. And that's because uh, I went down and expected, inspected the entire line and found about five or six holes like literally all the way down and uh, they were about half the size of my fist or so and I just stuck my hand in there sure enough the fiber I, I thought maybe the fiber would be down eight or nine inches but not put, put, put it in there fibers down probably three to four inches um, all the way down and so in those holes I filled, uh, I filled them and uh, properly put sod on top of where those holes were and that's all good so I think that's pretty much it. I'll say one more thing to anybody that's going to get it to have an install. Uh, if the installer comes in and you don't see this J-pipe, which earlier earlier in the video you saw that this has that j bend now it's way underground. But if the installer comes in and doesn't is not using one of these, just using like regular PVC, you know, uh, that's okay, it works. My neighbor, the installers, didn't use a J-pipe. It's just random, I guess. I don't know how that works, but... Obviously her service is working and, and I noticed her uh, fiber of course right by the house is like mine was. Literally you can move your finger a little bit and it's just barely up under the ground. But but they went in and did a straight 90 degree up. And that's not what you're taught to do with fiber for obvious reasons. But it works, her, her service is working. So if they're doing that, maybe you ask them, hey, do you have something that has a bend on it, blah, blah, blah. But you know, if they did, they'd probably use it, but you never know. Otherwise, leave them alone, I guess. Let them do their job. It's going to work at work. I'm sure there's plenty of uh, fiber builds where this is slightly, slightly underground or at least touches the top of the soil and it's coming in the bottom. So I don't know what's more prevalent. I hope this is. Plus, it's a lot thicker and a lot stronger. See, I had that anchored in with these anchors and uh, <clears throat> this this will take like a crow, crowbar with a lot of force to get that off. It's, it's that tight end of this masonry. And uh, that's it, man. It's done. It's uh, to my satisfaction. So, uh, and I guess I can show you hers too, really quickly. You see this line? Uh, this is actually her pot line, but the fiber is buried the same exact way. Uh, and if I stick my finger down, you saw that dirt on my finger earlier. Right there's her line, and I went down that far. Literally, the crease of my finger. That's that's where her fiber line is. Here's what it is. This ground is all going to close up here and over on the other side and across her whole yard. So it'll be fine. It's just kind of like, you know, why didn't you go down further? You know, they have so much slack in that line that they could have used. And they put a brand new line for here for the pots. But I'm shutting up now because I'm done. Showed you my stuff. Uh, so I'm good to go. I'm confident everything's good. The service is running good and it's all, it's all protected from danger. So let me know about your installs. I, I'm curious about that. Your, uh, your fiber installs, uh, if you noticed how deep they go, 
when they got right up to the house, is it really right up on the soil like mine was, like half an inch or less, uh, that kind of thing. Are they using J's on yours, J pipes? Are they using straight conduit? Or they, do they not use anything at all, et cetera, et cetera. So take care, guys. Um, my deal is done. <laughs> I had to do a bit of my own work, but hey, at least I feel uh, safe with it now. So take care.